What's up everybody? My name is Liz Medley. I am a former salon owner and now I'm a network marketing professional. I owned a salon for 11 years and three months after I started in network marketing, I sold the business that I started when I was 19 years old. I quickly realized that I did not have to trade time for money and that I could build a residual income doing some of the, my most favorite things in business. I was able to train, I was able to coach, I was able to help other people hit their goals and dreams. So it fits me like a glove. I've built the majority of my business, about 99% of the business, through social media. So today I want to share with you what I teach my team how to follow up. I call it the 222. So we're going to talk about the 222 follow up method. The first two stands for two days. The second one is two weeks and then two months. So the first two, two days, when you see an email come into your inbox that a customer has purchased from you, I want you to immediately either email them, text them, or call them and thank them for their order. There are other people that they could have done business with and they chose to do business with you. So make sure you give them a genuine Thank you. And then the next thing I want you to do, if you are not already connected with this person on social media, I want you to use their email or their name and search and find them. I then want you to voice message them and say, hey, I just wanted to let you know I saw your order come through. Thank you so much. I went ahead and left you a voicemail or I sent you an email. Um, so just be on the lookout for that. But thank you so much. I know there's other people that you could have done business with, so thank you for choosing me. And so then I want you to send them a friend request. And you can even let them know in the voice message, hey, I went ahead and sent you a voice or a friend request so we could connect. If you're already friends with them, same thing. You just need to voice message them. Let them know that you contacted them through email, text, or you left them a voicemail or you called them. Um, if you do call them, make sure you do leave a voicemail if they don't answer. And then the next thing that you're going to do is you are going to, on your social media outlet, you are going to post a picture of you. If it was a product, you're going to hold the product. Or if it's a service, you can just say, hey, you know, thumbs up, and you can write across it, thank you, and their name. Um, you can customize it for them. And then you're going to say, hey, thank you so much. I appreciate your support in business. And you're going to make sure that you tag them in the thank you. That's going to do several things. Your friends and family are going to see, wow, she's doing something in her business. And her friends and family are going to say, well, what did she get? Or what is she doing? Or, you know. So as soon as that order comes in, that's what you need to do. And it needs to be done before the first. You want to go two weeks out in your planner. And you want to write in their name and a little note about what they purchased um, or how the conversation went. So you need to put a little note in there. Put their name, maybe their phone number if um, you talk to them via phone or email. And so now what you're going to do is when two weeks comes, you're going to know to follow up with that person. It's simple, it's duplicable, and you're not going to forget, okay? And so when the two weeks come, you're going to ask them, hey, how are you loving your product? Or how are you loving your service? Or if they bought multiple products or multiple services, so what do you like best? So listen to this again. How do you love your products? And why you want to ask it in this way, or what do you like best, is because if you say, hey, so what do you think? That triggers something, and they're gonna give you negative feedback, and they're gonna find, oh, you know, it was okay, or well, da 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 da. So they're gonna compare. So make sure you ask this. Listen, write it down. What did you like best? Or how are you loving your product? Okay? So that, that triggers positive response. So casually, you're going to say this, hey, I'm not sure if I told you or not, but as a distributor, I get a deep discount. I'd love to share with you how to get the discount, possibly free products or services, or even how to earn a little bit of money. I would love to share with you who I'm looking for and what we do. When would you have a few minutes? That's it, right? Just real casual, nonchalant, no pressure. It may or may not be for them. However, that's their decision, right? And it's our job to offer the opportunity. And if we're not throwing that out there, we're not doing our job and we're doing a very disservice to our customers and our network. So depending on how that conversation goes, you can carry on to the next step of signing them up as a distributor, 
um, and get them going as a business partner. Or you can let them know, hey, I totally understand. Is it cool if I follow up with you in a couple months? The majority of people say, absolutely, yes, thank you. That would be great. So you're going to go back to your planner. You're going to count out two months, eight weeks, and you're going to write in their name and the best way to contact them and even a little note, okay? So then you know, oh, it's time to follow up with this person, all right? So when the two month mark comes, this is what you're going to say to them. Hey, I know timing wasn't right before. I wanted to see if anything has changed. I'd love to share you, share with you a little more information. When would you have a couple minutes? So I know timing wasn't right before, but I wanted to see if anything has changed. I'd love to share with you a little more information. Now is a great time because X, Y, and Z. Maybe your new starter kit has changed. Maybe there's a bonus going on in your company. So whatever it is, this you can share that there. So I know timing wasn't right before. I want to see if anything has changed. It's casual. There's no pressure to it. You're genuinely checking in. Hey, you know, has anything changed? It's the same thing. Like, think of a waitress and she says, hey, can I get a refill on your drinks? And you're like, no, we're good, thank you. And a little bit later, she walks back by, hey, can I get, can I get you a refill? Hey, you know what, yeah, that would be great. Thank you, thanks, you know. If she wouldn't have stopped back by again, my cup could have went empty and I would be like, dang it, I need, I need, where's my waitress, I need a refill, right? So you, people appreciate that follow-up because maybe they were busy. You know, maybe timing really wasn't right. So, two days, two weeks, and two months. If you can use your planner, that's gonna be the easiest way for you to remember. Or you can even set an alarm in your phone. Whatever works best for you, but that's a great way to follow up and people truly, genuinely appreciate a follow up and no pressure, right? It may or may not be for them and that is for them to decide. I hope you found value in this today. If you did, please leave a comment and share it with your teams. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and thank you so much for the opportunity to share with you what I love. I believe in you, so it's time to believe in yourself. Have a good day.